that hurt me at all? Okay. I just want to take my time and look around in here. There's another one. Oh, shoot. Are they multiplying? Celis is probably face palming with all this ammo that I'm wasting. Okay. <clears throat> Hang on, that's gonna drive me crazy. I gotta look up this game. Cap, come. Cancelled game. Was it Capcom? Now I don't know if it was Capcom. Oh, no, it was Scalebound. Scalebound is what I was thinking of. And it was, um... Uh, shoot. Platinum Games. That's the one I was thinking of. A picture of a postcard. The following verse is printed, Give your soul to the goddess, put your hands together to pray before her. Give your soul to the goddess, put your hands together to pray before her. That sounds important. Is that what you were thinking of, Pi? Yeah, that game looked really cool. It looks like there's something else in there, no? Yeah. There's the ink ribbon. Okay. Thank goodness. Also, Deep deep Down is another game that I was really, really looking forward to that was cancelled. Oh, there's a save room right there. Wow. How convenient. Deep Down really looks like a Souls game. Microsoft bought studios too fast. They've bought a bunch of them. I really see how people were so disappointed um, with RE3 Remake now. <laughs> it's weird because I still love RE3 Remake, but it almost feels like a different game. Like there's so much stuff that's different. And it really makes me want this game to be remade like the original Resident Evil 1 Remake. Like just basically keep it the same but like redo all the textures and make it a little bit darker and more moody uh what says it's vaporware scale bound or deep down both of them are really you like both original re2 and 3 better than the remakes. Yeah, I think I am the same. Even though I really like the remakes, 
there's just something about the classic Resident Evil games that there's just nothing else like them. Well, <laughs> maybe there are, and I just haven't played them. Onimusha and Clock Tower and Hunting ha uh, Haunting Ground. Okay. The Clock Tower T key. Wait, do I combine these or something? It's a key ornamented with a clock part. Bezel key. Oh, maybe it's just a completely separate key. This one looks like something would fit in there, doesn't it? I know, plan. Deep Down looked so good. And yeah, there was a Dragon's Dogma online that they canceled. Actually, I think it even came out in uh, Japan. What in the world has happened here? Oh, is this part of um, where our train crashed into it? Whoa. Wait, is that a train part? <laughs> Those wheels don't look like train parts. I guess this is the train though, yeah. Big West Hotel was something. Yeah, it was Japan only. They went down in 2019. Hmm. Um, Dragon's, Dogma, Dragon's Dogma 2 was announced though. No telling when that game will come out, but it was announced. That's a lot of zombies, Jill. They're on fire, though, so that should kill them, right? Oh, it was a motorcycle under the train. Okay, gotcha. Oh my goodness, these spiders are back. God of time is etched under the keyhole. So I guess that's a different key that we need. This, this is so cool. It's like, it kind of feels like a Resident Evil mansion that you're exploring. Ooh, what is that? Something written on the lid. Oh. Okay. U. D. So this is the opposite of the other one. Interesting. Your original Steam Deck reservation expired and Dragos, Draga, Dragon's Dogma 2 were announced the week you went camping. Oh no. This is the solution. Memorize it. Only use it when you can't figure it out. I don't really understand what I do though. But I've got these written down. What in the world was that? Man, I love Resident Evil. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love Resident Evil games, as you guys probably already know. But I think without a doubt, the, my favorite part of Resident Evil. Uh oh. My favorite part of Resident Evil's is when you are in 
a mansion or in like a, a building like this like whether it's a you know the mansion from re1 or um the police station or i guess maybe the clock tower here i think those are definitely my favorite parts we push the switch no not yet A keyhole, ornamental copper plate. Oh, yes. Nice. Sure. Red herbs. Yeah, I did like seven a lot. Definitely. And I'm really, really excited to play seven again. Um, I'll probably play it like right before the 8 DLC comes out because it's been a while since I played it and um, is that Nemesis? Use the light, use the cord. I don't, I don't know. Oh, electrocute him? Oh, that was a good idea, Jill. Yeah, that was the right move. I think. Oh, that must smell terrible. Oh, now I can't use that, though. Well, oh, he dropped something, too. This makes me nervous. I don't feel like he's actually dead. What? Are you kidding me? Is that is that for the Magnum? Hang on, I want to go back and see what that is. Play seven, Final Fantasy seven. Oh goodness, what is that noise? Was that him waking up? I have to get more parts for it. Okay. I'm completely going the wrong way. Can I open this door? Okay. Hey, Minish. Welcome back. Oh, no. Shoot. Okay, well, forget that. He's literally in the save room. Play seven fantasies, finally. Wait, was there anything over here? Oh, the red herbs were over there. Duh. Oh, really, Pi? Oh. Is this another save room? Why aren't we getting save music? Okay, um, man, I have a mess of an inventory. Where's my green herbs?
Let's put the knife way out here because the knife is the most useless thing in Resident Evil that no one ever uses. Okay, let's put this here. Put all of our weapons together. <laughs> Pepsi can, no one ever uses the knife. <laughs> I'm just joking, by the way. I, I'm mostly joking because uh, DeSellis always tells me to take the knife. And I always just say it's the useless item. Okay, let's see. This is useless, though, because I was supposed to get rid of this, but I kept it. I also don't feel like we're going to need the stars card anymore. I'm just going to put that down here as well. Um, let's put this down here. Let me grab these. Okay, that feels good. Well, let's put this down here with the other weapon stuff. And I also don't feel like I was supposed to take this. Oh, I missed a bunch of stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hang on, let me scroll up here. Um, pretty sure it supports most Steam games. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I missed so much stuff. I just joined NVIDIA GeForce. It's free for basic rig and one-hour sessions, but it has very few compatible games. I'm wondering if I upgrade. I have more of my games to choose from. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Better messy inventory than an empty one? That's true. Pretty sure it supports most Steam games. Uh, you wouldn't have beat the RE2. That's true, yeah. I forgot about that. Knife only run? <sighs> Maybe at some point I'll try a knife only run. You can play Garfield's cart. Just stop right there, Minish. What else do you need to play? Golf with friends and Hollow Knight. So I don't know why anyone would want to upgrade exactly. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to save. That seems like a wise deci decision. Let's maybe check out some of the stuff first. A beautiful ornamented gadget. That sure looks like something that I should interact with, but it doesn't seem to allow me to do anything. Twitch was so fast, they worked on your report. What kind of report? Hollow Knight sounds terrible with that much latency. I guess it depends on how much latency you have. Maybe maybe it's not much latency. The silver gear. That sounds very important. Okay. I see a, a ink ribbon there too. Oh, that seems like that has to go in here, right? A beautiful gear made of silver. Ooh. I don't think that is supposed to go in there. <clears throat> okay. Okay. 
Yes. I don't like that my save room music is gone. Oh, selling follower bots? Nice. I'm glad they they worked on it or got it taken care of. Those are so annoying. Was it me who I caught beating RE2 Remake? What do you mean caught beating RE2 Remake? Or are you saying that's like, is that when you found me was through RE2 Remake? No, I think it was through Zelda, wasn't it? You think it's good to limit the save slots uh, you get in games? I don't know. I never really think much about that, Pepsi Can. I know some people like will like um, alternate the save slots that they use uh, for games. I feel like that's a little bit more important in like RPGs or something. As long as I have enough save slots that I don't really have to worry about it, that's what's important to me. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I caught you at the end of the game. You caught me at the end of the game. I still don't understand. <laughs> it's a difficulty? Using one slot? Oh, are you a multi-save uh, slot kind of person? A music box with an ele- Oh! There are switches marked A to F. Okay, so I'm assuming that I played the I'm assuming that I play the one that was on the right side. Oh, I understand what you're saying now, Pi. I don't remember though. It very possibly might have been it though. Okay, now Pepsi Can on Persona I did have a lot of different saves. Move it up or down? What am I even moving? Um, so I need to be you. I don't know what is going to actually move, though. Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I think that's correct. Now B. No. Down. And then the next one will be up and up, I think. Oh, U and D for up and down. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how it was like coordinating with the A through F on there. I understand now. Okay, so those should both be up. That's good. That's good. The next one should be down. Oh, it's already set to down. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I'm getting so confused. I thought I skipped that one. Okay, next, up, and the next one should be down, and then the last one should be up. Play. That's a key. Video games always get clockworks wrong. That is not how it works. Those wheels would wear out so quick. I bet they would. Um, back in the 90s, we had these things called memory cards. They only had 15 save slots to share for all 
Wait, for all of your games? Are you kidding me? And some took up two slots? How how did you guys do that? <laughs> Draco. Hi, Draco. Unless you're talking about the Sega Dreamcast, those memory cards held like two games total. Oh, that sounds terrifying. The Kronos chain. That sounds cool. A chain made to adore a god of time. There's a small screw uh, screw hole near the ornament. Wait, is this what I combine with this? Ah, there we go. It's a key designed to adore a god of time. Was there a god of time in anyone's mythology? You're surprised I'm still alive? Draco, I made a commitment that I am going to beat this game in one stream. And uh, I'm going to do it. I'm having a really good time with it, actually. It is super fun. Okay, I don't think I need anything else. I think let's move out. Um, yeah, let's go. That's crazy. I, I didn't know that about memory cards. I never had consoles. I was always a PC, PC kid. What are these things? I keep seeing these things. It looks like dynamite or something. Oh wait, you shoot them? Oh, so it is dynamite. <laughs> I kept trying to like interact with them. It was one slot per save per game. So if you wanted to have three save files for your Resident Evil 3, that's one-fifth of the card. Oh my goodness. Those were also in the days when a game like Final Fantasy 7 came on three separate discs. Yeah, now I did have that with PC games because there were quite a few games actually that would come with like five or six discs. I think there was one that had like nine discs. And then I remember there was actually one like set of games that I got um, or that like came with our computer. It was like the early 90s and it was like 27 floppy drives or something or floppy disks. It was so many. Oh, okay. Um, so I need to go out here. Floppy disks. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Missed me. Missed me. Go Jill! <laughs> Gracious. Oh, that was so close. Funny thing is you can buy old memory cards on the internet and try to finish. Really? Oh, that's funny. That's interesting. Oh, goodness. Those things. I feel like those things never really scare me that much as, as much as they just surprise me. Oh, wow. That's really sad and dark. And cool. Can I get his gun? Mercenaries. Mercenaries pocketbook. Oh, goodness. The, they need to put more space in between these words sometimes. You hate spiders. I don't... I don't mind... Like, they don't freak me out or anything or scare me. But, I mean, I, I don't really like spiders. Um, okay, let's see. September 26th. That was just a few days ago. 
It's only been a three hours since the mission started, but the team is down. Uh, but the team is down to me and Campbell. The numbers, the number of zombies is far greater than we expected. There is no hope left for the city. We have already injected the antibody for the virus, but I'm not sure that that will work. I don't know if it. Will, I don't know if I will survive. September 27th, we managed to reach the clock tower. One of the desperation. Uh, out of desperation, we robbed some wounded members of their weapons and used the uh, sorry, used the surviving citizens as decoys. We were taught to do this in order to survive in the battle in the battlefield, but I never enjoyed it. However, a girl showed up at the clock tower before me. She is one of the survivors. She looks just like my sister before she starved to death. Oh my. Wait. Why would your sister starve to death? Like, the... the Zombie breakout hasn't been that many days, has it? September 28th. Uh, I wanted to evacuate as soon as possible, but the girl didn't. Her father insisted that he wouldn't leave the city where his beloved wife rests in peace. I really wanted to save the girl, but Campbell said... All I care about is our lives. That's how I felt before, but now the clock tower has become a dangerous place and I don't want to make any more mistakes. Dang, that's really sad, but can I please have your gun? Guess not. Ooh. This looks cool. Pres uh, present goddess. There's a tray under the picture. Past goddess. And future. Okay. <laughs> you can't read words like this. Um... You can't without problems live one to two weeks without food? Yeah. Yeah, so how did his sister starve to death? That's kind of confusing to me. A maiden statue holding a tray. A crystal ball is on the tray. Okay, well that's probably the future, right? An obsidian ball is on the tray. Obsidian. I don't really know what obsidian represents. Amber. Amber would probably be past? I'm going to try that. Amber. Interesting. Obsidian. Crystal. Is that good? Ah, that's really cool. Um, so what is it about obsidian that represents uh, represents the present? I don't know a whole lot about stones. Maybe it wasn't related to the outbreak and she died. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that could be it. This reminds me of the Walking Dead game where you see a starved to death kid zombie. Was that in the first Walking Dead? I I don't remember that. I only played the first one. Okay.
Oh, is that a bell? Yeah. MT rounds. Is that for the mine launcher, maybe? Hi, green man. Welcome in. How are you? This is, uh, yeah, the HD project, or I think it's called um, Seamless HD for this one. I don't know if HD project is a separate one or a different one. But yeah, it's really good. I'm having such a good time with it. Move the chair and go around the... Oh, did I get poisoned? Oh no, we're just in caution. Okay. I don't think you can move the chair. Yeah, it doesn't let you move the chair. Depends on the amount of food you eat on a regular base basis. Yeah. I mean, it seems like the way that it was written that it was like... It was talking about it just happened. But maybe it was something in the past. Well, Resident Evil doesn't work on logic. Okay, that's getting a little nervous. Making me a little nervous. Shoot, I did get poisoned. Um, Do we have any blue herbs anywhere? Because I did not pick up any, I don't think. Impassable terrain. I love Resident Evil's logic. Resident Evil is just so good. I don't have any blue herbs. Oh, there's some in the lobby. Okay. Uh, no, that's okay. I mean, I don't want, like... Oh, we're not doing so good. I don't want, like, any spoilers or too much help, but that's that's fine to tell me that. Okay, let's see. Um, so I just need to go out here and to the left. I take it you've played this game before, Green Man. Are you a big fan of the Resident Evil games? Oh, there's some. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, so... Do we think the gold... Let's see, how do I change? Maybe the gold cog will work up there? It seemed like it was the same size as the silver one, though. Three is your favorite? Nice. I really, really like this. So I, I had played the remake, which I really enjoyed that one. Um, but I like this one quite a bit more, I think. I understand now why so many people were upset with the 3 remake. Although I still really like remake. Eat your veggies. Uh, you found references to obsidian being used as a scrying, scrying mirror to tell the future and cleansing stones for spirits of the past. <laughs> Nothing about the present. Well, maybe you aren't really supposed to know what obsidian is for, and you just like can deduce that um, the crystal is for the future, and I forgot what the other one was now for the past. Is that going to work? No, that still doesn't work. Hmm. Uh, 
Um, do these combine together, maybe? Amber, that's right. The only reason that I thought about that was because uh, of Jurassic Park. <laughs> How the, you know, the um, mosquito gets caught in amber and it's old. Ah, okay. Cool, cool. Three make gets a bad rep, but you enjoyed it. Yeah, I really, really like it. Um... I just like Resident Evil. <laughs> there's so much, there's so much good stuff in all of it. You missed so much already. You've been fighting Nemesis or running? I have been running. I didn't even know that you could fight him <laughs> um, until some people were telling me that you can actually fight him and like get some some uh, weapons and items. If by fighting you mean dying? No, I died the most times to that stupid worm. I think. You advise saving here? Okay. Um, that's a good idea. Nemesis made you quit the game? You never finished it. Oh man, Draco. I totally can sympathize with that though. Like, there I would not be able to beat this when I was a kid. So, Green Man, I have kind of a weird um, experience with Resident Evil. I started... Well, I guess maybe it's not that weird. I started with Resident Evil 7. That was the first Resident Evil game that I ever played. And that got me really interested in Resident Evil. And this was right before Resident Evil 2 Remake was going to come out. So, I wanted to play Resident Evil 1. So, I played Resident Evil 1. Absolutely loved Resident Evil 1. Like... I think that's my favorite game out of all of them. Um, and now I've just been very slowly uh, going through like every bit of Resident Evil that I can. So I've played just about everything, which kind of makes me sad. Really, the only thing that I haven't played is like the original, original Resident Evil one. And I haven't finished all of Outbreak, but we played a good amount of Outbreak. Seven was really good, yeah. Uh, you got real sick of him showing up and following me halfway across the station. Um, the intro scene is your trauma. RE1 Remake was pretty perfect. It is so good. I just love the atmosphere in that game. Alright. Um, I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be a boss fight. So... I think I'm going to grab this, this, and some healing. Actually, I probably should grab more healing. I mean, there may not be a boss fight. Don't tell me either way. Um... Maybe I'll put this in there. Oh, that's that's not what I need. Okay. Are you excited for the RE8 DLC? I'm very excited. I'm also excited to play Village in third person. Okay, so we know, we read that we were supposed to ring the bell, and that's the, the signal that they're going to come and pick us up, right? Or the chopper is coming. Wait, this can't be it. It's 
finally over. Oh no. Who is that? Is that Nemesis? Dang, poor Jill. <laughs> oh, playtime is over. <laughs> How fortunate for you. All right, I was right. <laughs> oh, good dodge, Jill. Good dodge. Okay, that was not a good dodge. Jill. Carlos? Nice flip, Carlos. Oh my goodness. Carlos, did you not learn how to dodge? Oh. Good thing you had that unlimited clip. Oh no. Is he dead? I do really like Carlos in the remake. <clears throat> um, Jill? Okay, hang on. It's Magnum time. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, goodness, he's fast. Uh-oh, that's not good. Get up, Jill. Get up! No! Oh! I always hit the wrong buttons there. Um, okay, let's heal. Uh... I don't know, let's try this. Shoot, I missed! Is that hitting him? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, he's so fast. To sell us. Jean Claude's not going to save us. I think I need to heal now. Let's uh let's go with this. Can I put any more in there? Oh, wait. How does that work? <laughs> you could just put all 36 in there. Oh, he's still up. Oh, no, 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 no. Move! Oh, shoot. This might be it. No! Get up, Jill. Get up. Keep fighting. He's so fast. Can you grab Carlos's weapon? I'm guessing you can. I don't feel like that would be any better than the grenade launcher, though. Did I get him? Grenade launcher doesn't have any capacity. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Did I just die? <laughs> oh no, we just passed out. I thought it was the poison. Jill. Wait, also Carlos is not dead? Jill. I totally thought he was dead. Hey, don't die on me. Jill! Jill! October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. Oh I man, I love I'm that. Alive. It is October 1st. Well, for some of you guys, for me it's still the 30th, but we're close enough. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, is this Carlos, where I'm going to play as Carlos now? Like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. 
I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. <laughs> well, it's a save room, Green Man. It has to be safe, right? Oh, this is so cool. We are playing as... As Carlos now. How many inventory slots do you have? Okay. What do we have in here? We have a knife. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. So where do we go? It has a typewriter in it, exactly. <clears throat> um so oh well, I don't I don't want to know I was gonna ask some things about remake compared to this but I'll, I'll figure it out obviously after we finish oh I should probably save shouldn't I remember the chair thing does that ring any bell ah I think we did have a, um, yeah, an ink ribbon. Jill, I'm gonna borrow your typewriter, okay? Maybe we should use a different, um, area here. Save slot. Oh, I did too, Pepsi Can. Yeah, it was really fun, wasn't it? Although I still haven't finished it. I need to go back and finish it. But I played a good amount of it. Oh. Did not realize that they were in front of me there. Wait. So I need to go... Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Carlos is a tank, right? Oh, goodness, this is not a great position to be in. Carlos, you're already hurt? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. You really want to play RE7 VR, but you might die? It just stinks that the only way you can play it is on PlayStation 4. I'm, I'm going to die right here. Oh, goodness. Well, he was very tired after that fight. He took a lot of injuries. So that makes sense. After promising to save Jill, Carlos was immediately eaten by zombies just outside the chapel. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I thought that he was dead during that, um, during that boss fight there. I also thought that, that was going to be the end of the game. I'm really glad that there's more. I tell you what, I'm going to take a really quick break. Just like two minutes. Um, just a stretch. I'll be right back. Does the music sound weird? 
I didn't know if it was supposed to sound like that. Oh, it sounds haunted? Maybe that's it. Oh, goodness, what am I getting stuck on? <laughs> Carlos, we are not having a great start here, buddy. Okay, so I need to go in here and go to the right. That'll do. I guess I'm not going back upstairs. <laughs> right, Draco? Um, okay, I think through here. <clears throat> what other kind of games do you play, Green Man? Oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we got through there relatively easy. Probably gonna have to come back through there though, aren't I? Wait. <laughs> Am I actually supposed to come through here? Can I... Hmm. If you're not playing uh, Total War, it's Dead by Daylight. Probably because they have a Resident Evil character in it. You sound a lot like my friend Decelis. Wait, you just push it? Is that it? Oh. Is he really that strong? You mean shooting it wasn't the solution? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, I've been playing this game for nine hours, okay? Oh boy. Nice. <laughs> Fair point, green man. Chris would have would have punched it, yeah. Not only the bell, he would have punched the rocket, probably. <clears throat> Ooh. Hospital? Oh, wow. Park? That's cool. Okay, the hospital is probably where we're supposed to go. Chris! <laughs> I'm an American, we just shoot things. Um, Decelis, how are you doing, man? How are you feeling? Okay. Wait, what is our pistol that we have here? A Sig Pro SP2009. It's mainly made of plastic and is very light. It uses 9mm parabellum rounds. Oh, look at the, uh, the bloody handprint. That's really cool. Your guide to health insurance. <laughs> yep, I hope you're all insured now. What is that?
Oh no, are you kidding me? These things? Two of them? Oh. Well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> okay. Not as bad as I thought that it was going to be. I started looking shutters down. This is the same hospital as Outbreak? The one with the leech monster? Oh. <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. Man, Resident Evil is so cool. I just love these games. There are numerous numbers of medical cards. The one time that <laughs> Hal literally carried this, Ellis. Yep. Is that a typewriter there? Nothing suspicious, so. Wait, is there a typewriter in here? Is that a typewriter? Oh, I didn't really want it to do that. I guess that'll have to work, though. <clears throat> That's right, Draco. Gotta get it. Okay. See you guys, I'm out. Oh, a blue herb. That's probably important to have. Actually, let me go back in here and drop off these um, um, ink cartridges. Yeah, I'm excited for that too, to sell us. Because there's like, there's an actual campaign, right? It's not just like, just multiplayer stuff. Or is it? Several? Cool. I don't know why, but for a second I thought he was going to grab that, like, lab coat and put it on. He should totally have done that. Okay, what is this over here? Looks like a voice recorder. That's what it is. Um, a portable tape recorder. A patient's diagnosis is recorded on, on it. Can we use it? Oh, we don't need to use it right now. Okay. It's kind of like Outbreak uh, in that uh, it's scenarios rather than one campaign. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. I was looking and I'm like 99% sure that I own Left 4 Dead. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2. I, actually, I thought I owned both of them, but they're not in my Steam library. I think I may actually have it on disc somewhere. Because I want to say that it came with, like, one of the Half-Life games. Maybe I'm crazy. But I could have sworn that I had those games. Oh. Here we go. Please enter your voice. Now I just need to use this, right? There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However... Okay. You have a mod to play as David from Outbreak. I love your infatuation with David.
How has um, Back for Blood gone? Is anybody still playing that? Is anything happening? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I thought I pressed the button. Um, I guess let's go down first. Bill from Left 4 Dead 1 is your man. Wait, so... Is, uh... Should we play Left 4 Dead 1 first? Or is it okay to just skip to 2? Oh, it has all of one in it. Oh, well, that's cool. Shaft type M. Green Man, what is your favorite Total War game? I used to really be into Total War back in like the um, Total War Rome days. And uh, what was the medieval ones called? Was it just called? Total War Medieval? No, I don't think it was that. I can't remember what it was called, but I really, really got into them back then. Beakers and flasks. Extreme caution is needed when handling chemicals. <clears throat> Rome has to be the best for you, classic. Three Kingdoms. Oh, that's the new one, right? Is that the one that you played, Decelis, and you said you really liked? I had no oh. idea another guinea pig was still alive. Who is that? What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Sometimes it's easy to forget. Oh, what is that neck? Royalties. Just like that. Traitor. What was his neck doing he there? The guy who shot you. Yeah, you know him. The one with the gray hair and the ugly mug. I can't believe he had the guts to shoot me. That traitor! You mean Nikolai? Oh, shoot. Well, he's dead. Can I take his gun? <clears throat> I guess not. Um, is there nothing else back here that we need? What is that? Medium base. Okay. Unknown creatures are in the fish tank. Uh huh. I don't know if I should do that right now. Let me look around first. Power is shut off. <clears throat> medical instruction manual. Umbrella Medical Service, North America Division, Douglas Rover. In order to activate the synthesizer to cultivate the vaccine, please, please follow the procedures as detailed below. Supply enough energy to the system. Set the medium base to the device. That's what I just picked up, right? When the device is ready, you can start mixing the vaccine medium. To mix the vaccine, you will need to control 
the five levers, this will cause the two gauges to increase or de decrease. If you adjust the two gauges so that they stop at the center, the vaccine medium will then be produced automatically. That sounds easy enough. <coughs> um, okay. Oh. That seems like that's going to be a problem. Are we cool? Are they just going to stay in there? Okay, set the medium base. Operate the syn synthesizer. So... What am I looking at here? One, two, three, and then we have A and B below. So do I need to balance the two? Is that what I'm doing? Okay, that's not good. Thank you, Gisellus. How are you doing, Decelis? How are you feeling? Two, three, four, Better than you felt in the last few days? That's good, I'm glad. Hopefully you're, um, you'll continue to feel better. I feel like I'm right back where I started now. Um, can I reset these? Does that reset? Oh, I don't think that did reset it. Are they all turned down? I think they were all changed the other way, weren't they? I don't know if that's where we started. I'm trying to just get them back to where they were because I want to just see what e each one does. Okay, so this one goes... Let me write this down. So one goes... Left goes up. Right goes down. Two. Left goes up. Right goes down. Three. Oh, that's the same. <clears throat> okay. And do these do the opposite? Kind of hard to tell what that one on the right is doing. It looks like it's going down and then up. And then 
B. Wait. So the right one only goes up by one. Okay. Um... Let's see. Actually, none of those really help me. Um, I think I need to switch some of these back on the top. Do you guys know is there only one way to solve this puzzle? I'm assuming there is. I don't know what the easiest way to figure it out. Oh, <laughs> got it. I mean, I kind of understood the logic of the puzzle, but I didn't really know the, the most efficient way to figure it out. Okay, so we have the vaccine medium. Cool. Now are these things going to jump out? Yep. Can we just run? Oh, shoot. That was close. Um, let's heal, shall we? Now we're only in caution. Okay, so that was the basement, and now there was a floor on top. I don't know if the vaccine is ready. It's just a base, so we probably need more, don't we? Go down here first. What does that say? Data data room? Oh, I didn't even know that there was a She-Hulk. Oh goodness. Boy, it seems like we can kill those really Is it a show or is it a movie? A show. So it's not very good. Is it better than the Resident Evil show? They just now introduced the villain after seven episodes and there's only going to be nine episodes? That's kind of weird. Uh, the sick room key. That sounds good. Unknown creatures are soaked in form form formalin. Photo D. It says the effects of the T virus on the backside. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> you haven't seen the new RE show? Um, I think Possum had watched some of it and she said it was actually not bad if you just kind of like go into it, not really 
thinking of it as a Resident Evil show, but uh, I don't know. Why is it so hard for them to do a good Resident Evil show or movie or anything? It's not bad if you hate Resident Evil. Well, Possum really likes Resident Evil. But I don't know, I mean, it's like, they already cancelled it, and so it's like, what's the point of watching it? Oh my good gracious, what in the world? It's mini worms. I was not expecting that. Gracious. Did that come out of you? Draco, we fought that worm earlier, and it killed me many times. <clears throat> There's a singing part? What in the world? Is there nothing in here? What is this? It looks like there's something. Oh, goodness. What have we done? <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Actually, this will be a good test to see if it goes off again. Um, it really seems like there's nothing in here. <clears throat> you should get a, a treasure maw commands too. What would it do? Okay, um, 402, I think that's the room that I have the key to, yes, no longer need it, good, good, discard it, I will do it if I can find it, it might be hard to find it with like a green, ski a green screen behind it, that's the problem. Something seems to have been placed here. Oh, so it did go off. Okay, that's good. I don't know why it didn't turn off that one time earlier. Still working on that. Something seems to have been placed here. Oh, are these pressure points? Pressure plates? Wait a second. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, can I move it though? Oh yeah. No? Wait. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, that's no good. Hmm. So we could do this. And then push it this way. Do they all say that? How am I supposed to know which one? Oh! <laughs> Not that one! I love one, but I totally understand why people just playing it now would say that it's okay. I just have so much nostalgia for Mass Effect 1. Is there any way that I'm supposed to know which one of those to put the put it on? 
Seems like there would be something that would tell me or give me a, a clue. But I'm trying to think. <clears throat> Cultivate the vaccine, place the following procedure. Supply. Okay, that was just for the base. Mm hmm. Hmm. There is a clue. Um, I did play the original Resident Evil 2. One was hard to go back to after 2 and 3. Gameplay wise, a lot more rustic. Yeah. I still really like 1, though. But again, I totally understand that a lot of people don't. Um, so the only puzzle that I remember... Okay, it's not that one. Is that hurting me? The only puzzle in Resident Evil 2 that I remember is the one where I think it's with Leon or is it with both of them? That you have the statue thing in like the... I don't remember if it's the second or third floor. I think it's the second floor, right? That you have to push those things around. Oh, are... <laughs> Sorry. I thought you were saying that there was like a, a clue from that. Yeah, I, I did play the original. Actually, I, um, I'm i uploading those to YouTube so um, people can watch them later. There may even be, still be VODs of them on Twitch. I can't remember how long ago it was. But I do have them saved on YouTube. Okay, well, of course it's the last one. I have played Metro. Yeah, I actually just recently played through those um, earlier this year. Or, well, the Metro Exodus. I played the other ones before. I never really liked Last Light that much, but I did really enjoy... I really, really loved the first one, and I really liked the third one, Exodus. Um, I think the first one was still my favorite, though. Uh, Green Man, have you played the Stalker games? You should try them out, um, Draco. Okay, of course it's the very last one. Um, oh boy. Here we go again. Okay, it must be zero, four, five, one. Oh, it's only three. Have I found anything that has numbers on it? Is this like all these empty things? Are those things that I literally missed? I can't believe I missed so much stuff. You have played Stalker games? Man, I love Stalker, particularly the first one. Um, oh, it's so good. The atmosphere in that game, I still don't think that there's a game that has come out that can match the atmosphere in the original Stalker game. Oh, I wonder if it would just be 402. Thick atmosphere, that's right. Four, 
four, zero, two. Darn. Okay, I wonder if there's a clue in the other room. I'm just gonna drive 401 just to see. Okay, let's go to the other room and see if there's any clues. Oh, is that what it is? That's not the answer, but it, it's three numbers. <laughs> so it's not that. It just seems kind of weird that this room is here and there... I don't think there was anything in here. Oh, that's interesting. So this one is moved onto that. Weird. Do they have them over there? I can't really tell. Yeah, they do. Huh. Wait, the floors that you can access... Is it that? I don't remember what they are. One, four, and three? Yeah. So maybe it's four, one, three? Or three one four? Oh no. How do I how do I get out of here? Um open. Four one three. Let's try that. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Just trying to skip the text. Four, one, three. Three, one, four. Three, one, four. One, three, four. <laughs> One, three. You're just teasing with the room thing? <clears throat> what, about, about the floors or the room? I'm confused. Oh, you were just joking about that. Um... Can you guys give me a hint? Oh, wait a second. Oh no. I thought maybe I could just look in there. Is there anything that I picked up that I should be looking at? A corpse. Oh, there's a corpse in the other room. Okay, hang on. I thought I tried to, um, like, interact with that corpse, though. Oh! <laughs> I could have sworn that I tried to interact with this, and it didn't do anything. Okay, 104. Don't you hate that in a game when you think that you've done something. It, maybe this just happens to me a lot. <laughs> I feel like it does, but I hate it when I, I I think that I have done something and like it didn't work because I didn't do it right or something like that. And so then I just rule that out as like a solution because I'm like, well, I already tried that and it didn't work. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Um. Thank you, Reality. Good night. Hope you have a wonderful night. Sleep tight. 104. There we go. Ooh. Vaccine. Wait. Vaccine base. Isn't the other thing a, va a vaccine base? Or is it a medium? Oh, a vaccine medium. Can you just do this? Oh! <laughs> I didn't think that that was actually going to work. I thought we'd have to have, like, some machine do that for us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you kidding? Shoot, that's the wrong way. Oh. Go, 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 go. Do not come in here. Are you... That was too close. We're still only caution. Oh, man. That would have been pretty rough if I had died there. Oh, wait. <laughs> I keep forgetting you have to choose this. Okay, so first floor. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Carlos. You're amazing. How are we doing on that weapon, though? Okay. <laughs> Maybe we switch over to this one for a little bit. Save that for just in case. Um, I really, really would like to save. It's right here, right? Oh, is there anything better than a Resident Evil being in a Resident Evil game and being like one hit away and then stepping in to a save room and hearing that wonderful music? Such sweet relief. Unless you don't have any <laughs> ink ribbons, <laughs> then you just stay there and never leave. The save theme from this game is really, really good. I don't know which one is my favorite, though. Wait, let's see which way. I need to go out this way. Oh, first aid spray? Uh, next to the box. Wait, where is the box? Is it down here? Oh, right there. Wow. <laughs> totally missed that. Okay, let me go ahead and use this then. Okay. Vaccine that has, uh, that is effective against the virus infection. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> um out we go. Uh it seems to be a time based bomb. Uh what? I do not do well with timers. Go back in the save room. Everything is safe in there. Oh shoot. Oh no! <laughs> Thank goodness we saved. <clears throat> Do all of the games come up with you died on it? I don't. F I don't feel like any of the games do that, do they? <laughs> what, Decelis? The save room is supposed to be safe. Three. You know I'm not good with timers. <laughs> that was only six seconds. 
need some water. I also need to stretch. My back is hurting. <sighs> okay. Um, use this. Let's just carry the ink ribbons. Okay, so I need to go out and to the left in six seconds. It's like a fire drill. Piece of cake. <laughs> the cell has played a little bit of Resident Evil. I don't suppose I can go out into the park yet. A simple lock? I know who could get that open. That doesn't look good. Oh my. Nope, nope, nope. Shoot. Move. Kick it off of you, Carlos. Oh, goodness. I think we're really hurt. Wait. Oh, I put that in the... Wait. Oh, no. I don't think I got the... I don't think I got the healing... Um... Med spray... Thing. Shoot! Wait, is the door right there? Oh no. <laughs> Wrong end. Yeah, I didn't pick it up. Is this the right way? I'm getting super confused now. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, well, well, we're fine. We're just hobbling along. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Part of me loves and hates how slow they move when they're super injured. But I mean, it is realistic, you know? You would definitely be moving a lot slower when you're really hurt. Uh-oh, this could be a problem. Um, I think I need to turn around, don't I? Oh, nope! <laughs> that was the wrong button. Uh, oh, goodness, I don't think I have a quick turn. We're dead. We are dead. I'm not stars, sir! Yeah, I'm dead. Darn. Mistakes it were made, indeed. Oh. But yeah, are there any other Resident Evil games that have the you died screen? You guys may have answered me and I just missed it. I don't remember, but maybe they all do. Most of them do. <laughs> um, huh. Well, you know, I don't really die much, you know, so... I'm just that good of a player. <laughs> I 
All right, which way do I go out? This way. Actually, maybe I will hold off on healing, just in case I get tagged through here. Run, 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 run. Don't worry about that, Carlos. Nothing at all to worry about. Nothing at all. It's fine. Good kick. Oh my goodness, there's three of them? Ha! <laughs> It's okay though, because we can heal. We are fine. Ooh, okay. That went a lot better than the last time. Oh, he's still coming! Shoot! Uh... Oh, Kenneth, please get up! Oh, please stop! I don't know which way to go! Um... Okay. Oh. <laughs> that legitimately scared me. Okay, now just straight across. Oh, come on. This guy just never stops. Ooh. <laughs> That's true. I did say that. Okay, um, use this, save, just in case it doesn't work, the vaccine, you never know. Okay, Jill, I have something for you. Okay. Yes. Barely. What's going on? No way! That monster just doesn't give up! No what? way! I thought we killed that thing! No, it's been waiting for you! Stars. He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and... Bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. I don't know if I trust you, Carlos. He did save me, I guess. <clears throat> okay, uh, what do we have here? Oh, we still got all of our weapons. So I'm assuming maybe we go... Oh, right! The simple lock. The simple lock. Mm, let's take those... 
Wow, I ended up with a lot of... I mean, I don't know how close to the end we are. I feel like we're pretty close. But I ended up with a lot of, um... Those, uh... Stuff to make ammunition, which I guess is good. I would rather have too much than not enough. Did these go into this mine launcher? Interesting. Okay. See out here. Yep, there he is. Excuse me. Oh shoot, I'm stuck on the table. Chill. <laughs> this stupid table. Okay. We're getting there. Whew. Can you give me another small hint? Um, Not yet. If I die or screw up, then you can give it to me. I appreciate you asking, though, instead and before just, like, giving me one. It's very likely you will need to give it to me, though. I could be going the completely wrong way, but I'm assuming that we need to try and open that lock with our lockpick. Oh, the zombies are gone out of here now. That's good. Uh, good? Okay. Where did Carlos go? Did he just completely run off without us? Oh wow, this is another save room. Oh. Yep, I'm trying to pick it up. There we go. Oh, photo E. There we go. <clears throat> no worries, just a little ammo pickup. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, that's okay. I always say, especially with games like this, is this is a kind of this is the kind of game that I'm going to replay multiple times. So, <clears throat> it's totally fine if I miss something the first time or if I miss a few things. Park key. Okay. We should probably go ahead and save in here, though, shouldn't we? Um, it is slightly concerning that I don't have any healing items. Yeah, I agree. I never really understand why our modest fellowship expands. 
Oh, Desilus, thank you for gifting that sub to Green Man. I never really understand the logic with why some people come in and just, like, give you spoilers, or, or not even spoilers, but, like, just give you hints, like, before you ask about them. Because to me, part of the fun of the game is, like, missing stuff, and then going back through again and, you know, finding stuff. Um, and I don't know, it just seems kind of like it ruins part of the fun, or part of the fun... Oh, hello. Part of the fun of the gameplay, when you just get the hints, or when you have somebody just tell you where to go and what to do. Thank you, Decelis. That's very nice of you. Thank you. We like them. Okay. Um. Guess I'm ready. I'm assuming there's going to be a boss fight out in this park area. Uh, oh, you were going fast. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Okay. Raccoon Park. Oh shoot, did I forget to get the key? <laughs> See, if you guys had told me, then it wouldn't you wouldn't have the the joy of me forgetting the key and having to go all the way through here <laughs> and try and dodge all of these zombies. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, we're fine. Totally fine. Here I am offering <laughs> you my precious time, and you oh. waste it by running around. First thing you posted in house chat was pointing out that he was wasting ammo on a boss and evil within two. Oh man. I do love evil. Th have you played the Evil Within games, Green Man? I'm assuming you have if you're a fan of Resident Evil. Pro tip, guys. Don't forget the key. You haven't? Oh my goodness, Green Man. You have to play them. They are so good. They are basically a Resident Evil game. Okay. Oh man, I thought I was going to get through there. Oh no, and now I'm injured. Darn. Maybe there'll be some healing items in here. He did, Green Man, yeah. Oh my goodness. Wasn't prepared for that. Okay, that's good. One hit kills them. Still mad PT got canned? Yeah. <clears throat> the demo was fun. Although I will say, the demo was really fun, but I also thought it was like very much overly complex and and a little convoluted, which is kind of like everything Kojima does. Um, but it was really good. <laughs> 